Everyone, please welcome Lila to the Mari Show. <laughs> Lila is here today to prove to a man named Drew that he's the father of her 11 month old daughter, baby Lila. Aww. Now, Lila and Drew agree they only slept together one time. But apparently, it's the circumstances around that one time that has Drew denying this child. You see, Drew claims their sex was not consensual. And that Lila took advantage of him. In fact, Drew has labeled Lila a sperm stealer. Watch. <laughs> Lila is nothing but a low down, dirty sperm stealer. That's right, a true semen demon. She took advantage of me when I was asleep. I did not, I repeat, did not willingly sleep with her. And that's how I know I'm not the father. This chick keeps running around town stealing sperm so her and her lesbian girlfriend can have a baby. She is sick and twisted, and I'm tired of being caught up in all of her games. Listen up, you sperm stealing scam artist. When the results prove I'm not the father, you can right up your And you better think twice about stealing another man's sperm. Sperm stealer. I don't know how you steal someone's sperm when he's denying the baby. So he basic, I, he I, basically said you raped him. If I stole your sperm, why, why are you denying the baby? Right. Like, that doesn't make any sense at all. So, at one point during your pregnancy, he seemed to come around. I yeah, mean, we, we, you had a uh, maternity shoot? Look at those pictures. Yeah. Tell me that you promised me that day. You promised me, Drew, that you would be her dad and you would not walk out on her. And what did you do? What did you do? You walked out on her. Look at that. Look at that picture. Look at that picture. Be a dad. Here's Drew. <laughs> Drew, come on out. That she would be there for that baby, and you walked out on her. You told I didn't, me to, you told I didn't me make a promise. Guy. You told me to have another man adopt her because you couldn't be a dad. Because she's not you, mine. Look at that baby, Drew. She's look not at mine. This baby. You're telling me that this baby isn't yours? She does not have my hair. Yes, she does. No, she does not. You were born with blonde hair. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Don't. My hair is dark. No, yeah, now. Drew. Sperm stealer. I was sleeping. No, you were on top of me. Sleeping. I was sleeping. No, you were not. How was I not sleeping? Uh, because we were having a conversation. When... We weren't having a conversation, yes, we though. I don't remember I'm no conversation. So, do you think there are other men who could be uh, baby yeah. Lila's father? There's two other guys, and one of them looks exactly like her. So, you're telling me that I raped you, but if I raped you, then how'd you get. <laughs> If you didn't want to have sex with me and you were sleeping, if you're the father, you Drew, you take off? care of that child. Yeah, if I was the father, I'd take care of her. You are the father. But I'm not the father. You are the father. I'm not her father. Why during the pregnancy did you show up at the maternity sh uh, shoot? I showed up at the maternity shoot because she wouldn't leave me alone about it and because kept arguing with me about it. So you're I went dad. so that she would stop causing stress you're in my her life. Dad. That's why I called you. But I'm not her dad. dad. I'm not her dad. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. And how about the gender okay. reveal party? How come you? I went, went as a friend. And got forced to sit look there and put a look diaper on my look head. Look how happy you look you to put be her dad. On my head. Look how happy you are to be her dad. Okay. Be that dad. I want you to be that dad. Be his dad. He says he'll get involved in the baby's life if he's the he father. Better. He better. I'm taking him to court. You take. You don't be her in her life. I'm taking you to court. In the case of 11-month-old Lila, Drew, you are not. Who was that? Who was that? Go back in another big day. <laughs> Had to help you. Don't jump all over her, okay? It's okay, Lila. You okay? Lila, you want, you want to tell him anything? No, I don't, 
I'm uh, sorry, Drew. Give me a hug. Have you been told that you're the father, but fear you're actually raising another man's child? Please call us right now at 1-888-45-MAURI to speak with someone from our show about taking a DNA test. Thanks for watching, everybody. Now, if you want to see more Mari content, click here. And be sure to subscribe to be the first to know about new videos.